D. Christopher and in this session I would like to share with you some basic quilting tips that will serve you well um, for all your quilting needs. And so the first one that I'd like to share with you today is accuracy in your cutting. Here in front of me I have fabric that I am going to cut. Um, the first thing that I would like to say about this is that it's very wrinkled and it's not going to produce an accurate cut when it's wrinkled. So I'm going to take just a minute and iron this section of the fabric that I'll be cutting on, so I'll be right back. Now that I've ironed my fabric, I'm ready to square up the sides and cut a two inch or one and a half inch strip for you today. So here we go. I am going to use two different methods to cut this to square up the edge so that I get an accurate cut. The first way is I'm going to use my cutting mat and I'm going to place this fold right on this cutting line and then I am going to adjust so that all of my fabric that I need to cut off to get an accurate cut is um, over an inch line. Um, the only place that I really use the mat for this is to line it up on that line um, on the bottom on the fold. Then I bring my ruler and I place it and I look at the lines out here that those are matched up because oftentimes I don't get accuracy when I'm looking um, at the lines where the end of the ruler come. I don't know why that is, but I get more accuracy if I'm looking out here. Now that my ruler is in place, I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I am going to bring it in and I'm going to come in from the right and come up to the ruler and place it next the blade next to the ruler. The reason that I do that and emphasize that is often when I come straight down I will hit the ruler and put nicks in my in my blade and also chip my ruler. So I want to bring the blade in off the fabric and make my cut. When I do that I have a beautiful accurate cut on that side. Let me talk a little bit about the ruler as I make the next cut. All quilting rulers are divided in eighths. This particular ruler, Quilter Select, is absolutely wonderful. It's very clear. The eighth inch markings are the smaller, quarter inch markings are a little bit larger, and when it's the half inch seam, it's a broken line, so I, I'm not second guessing myself on where that half inch line is and these dark thin lines for the inch markings are, are terrific because I don't have to question it. It has a material on the back that helps it adhere to the fabric. So now I'm not using the mat, I'm using my, my tool, which is my ruler, and I'm using the edge of the fabric. I wanna cut a one and a half inch strip. So I'm, I'm putting that half inch broken line right along the edge of my fabric. It's not off my fabric, it's not totally on it, it's right at the edge of it. And I do that because later when I show you how to measure your quarter inch seam, you're going to be able to see that that's where it needs to be on the ruler to keep my accuracy. Again, I'm coming in from the, from the right, coming and touching my ruler to the left, and I'm making that cut and now I have my quarter inch, my one and a half inch strip. And to cross cut that, um, I will again open it. You can line it up on that. I'm going to take my ruler again. I am going to line it up out here on that line for accuracy. Bring my ruler in to next to the uh, the blade of the rotary cutter next to the ruler. I'm going to cut that and now I can make my one and a half inch squares or I can cut rectangles, whatever it is I need. Accuracy. I also want to talk about whether you're left or right handed because it matters where your fabric is for that accuracy and not messing with the fabric once you've cut it. If you are right handed, I have a little mantra that I tell my students. Fabric to the right, and ruler to the left. That way you don't have to flip or move your fabric to get the next cut. If you are a lefty, then your fabric needs to be to the left 
and your ne ruler needs to be the, to the right so that you can cut um, from the left hand side and again you're moving your rotary cutter blade to the left side not on the right side so whether you're left or right the fabric is going to go to your dominant hand your ruler to your le your less dominant hand so accuracy in your cutting